All my dummy babies, it is your girl Dummy V, and I'm back again with another tutorial for you guys today. So, today I got a hair tutorial for you all, and I'm just gonna show you guys how I got this look basically, nothing special, just the basic flat iron, but my flat iron routine and how I do it. So, if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, continue watching the video. Start off by brushing out your hair with a powder brush or like a wide tooth comb. It'll help get all those kinks and curls out. I already washed my hair and conditioned it and everything. So I'm just going to be flattening it in this video. My hair was at its natural state. I didn't put any products in it or anything to like do my my curly routine. So that was just my hair at its natural state. And still brushing it out. Still brushing it out. So then you take your flat iron. And I'm using the Infinity Pro by Conair. I got these at Target. I don't know how much I paid for them, I forgot. But they're really cute. They have like this rainbow holographic, I don't know what that's called, like holographic plate in them. I don't remember because I don't have the box anymore, but I'm pretty sure they're like titanium or stainless, titanium plates. So it automatically starts at 390. And I think I'm gonna leave it at 390 because that's a lot, a lot of heat for my hair. But they go up to 450. So these are pretty good and they stay hot throughout the whole time. And I just get about an inch worth of hair, maybe. About that much for length. Use my comb to comb it out first. Get all the tangles out. Hold it. Take flat iron, start at the root, and I just follow mine with the comb. I've seen people like put the comb and then chase with the flat iron after, but I feel like if you put the comb at the bottom, it kind of like combs the hair straight already for you to just go straight down it instead of you know putting it on top and then going at the bottom. I just feel like it just I don't know. It's just my method. That's my method. You know, I've been, I, this is the way I've always done it, so, and I don't know, I just like it that way. Following it with the comb. <laughs> Straight. Comb it out, you hear that? Crunchy, crunchy. Take small pieces as you go through, especially if you have like thicker hair. If you take a smaller piece, it'll get it a lot straighter than if you take a chunk a big chunk of hair but i don't even like my hair straight anymore i know like when i was a little girl like i used to straighten my hair so much that my hair basically became straight like all the time like no matter when i would put water on it it would never curl back up like i straightened my hair like every freaking day when i was young because i just thought that you know straight hair was cuter but now that I'm older, I've learned to embrace my natural curls. And it's so much harder for me to keep my curls, you know, nice and luscious. Because I put when I put heel on it, it automatically goes back to straight. Like I've been routine and training my hair to go straight. And so I really hardly ever put heat on my hair anymore. It's so hard for me because I do like to wear my hair straight occasionally or something. But it's like I hardly ever put heat on my hair just because I know that it's going to be hard for me to go back to my normal curl. And I don't use heat protectant, but I should. I just don't know like a good heat protectant for my hair type. So if you guys know a good heat protectant, like let me know in the comments or leave it in the comments because I need to find one for my hair but yeah i'm just taking my comb and doing that chase method again um this is what it looks like so far it's you know really flowy and, and then i take down my hair on each side and i work on each side separately keep one of these around because if you get tangled up this will help you this will definitely help you so take a section about an inch of hair Comb, flat iron. <laughs> Just go all the way to the bottom. By the way, these are like my favorite little combs uh, as far as like 
rat tail combs. I just like the ones with the little metal ends. Shake somebody you can do that too. You use multi uses for them, so that's why I like them. You know, there's multiple use. Like all my aunties had a salon. My mom has four sisters, so all five of the girls, my grandma's daughters, had a salon. So I grew up in a salon, and I just I've always liked doing really girly girly things. We almost getting there. We're halfway done and it's starting to look super good. Starting to look awesome. Make sure you're getting to the root at the top. When you get to the top of your hair, you want to make sure that you're getting super close to this root without burning yourself. But that is the key to making your whole hairstyle look bomb. Alrighty, so we have half of it done already. And you know I'm already feeling like a baddie. So yeah, all I gotta do is get to this other side done. And then, um, you know, I guess we'll see what it looks like at the end. The final look, guys. What do you guys think? It's very shiny, very sleek, and very straight with my cheap flat irons that I got from Target. I do need to find a heat protectant for my hair. It's just not good to be putting all this heat on my hair like this. But I'm pretty satisfied with it. I think it looks really good, really bouncy, really, you know, pretty shiny i love these flat irons these were only like 30 dollars. i think i'm not sure i think they were like 30 dollars, but i don't think they were too expensive it's really cute affordable affordable hairstyle you can do on any day good for any season any event you know what i'm saying so you know you'll never this flat iron is never gonna go out of style but if you guys know any good heat protectants, definitely those in the comments. If you guys want me to do any other hair tutorials or whatever kind of stories y'all want to see from me, just leave that in the comments section and I will try to do those for you guys or I'll try to get to as many as possible. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. If you guys want to see more beauty videos from me or any videos that I'll be doing soon, if you want to be notified, hit that notification bell. And without further ado, I'm going to let y'all go.